Come in and try our new curly fries. We are so sure you'll like them. And if you don't, they're on me. One day, a Redditor took to the subreddit Ask Reddit to ask the following question. Fast food workers of Reddit, what should we not order at your restaurant and why not? From there, the thread blew up. To be fair, many of these incidents may be isolated to a very few specific locations. Here are the top 10 fast food items you should never order according to Reddit. Part 2. You have been warned. The Starbucks secret menu is secret no more. Well, that is good to know. I love Starbucks. The Starbucks secret menu is a thing of legends. It consists of decadent and elaborate beverages, including things like the Harry Potter-inspired butterbeer frappuccino, the honey nut macchiato, and the strawberry sunset refresher. How on earth can baristas manage to remember not only how to prepare the dozens of items on the official menu, but the hundreds of secret menu items as well? The short answer is they can't, because there's no such thing as the Starbucks secret menu. You might think that employees are just saying that because they want to ensure that the secret menu stays, you know, secret. But we promise you, it really doesn't exist. I've been living a lie. And so have you. Most baristas would be happy to prepare a customized drink for you, provided that the cafe isn't too busy and you have a recipe on hand. But don't be that person who waltzes into a Starbucks during rush hour and demands that they whip you up a Rocky Road Frappuccino stat. If you want to deviate from the official menu, be patient, let the barista know the exact ingredients and quantities you want, and don't complain about the cost. But really, it's just so much easier for everyone involved if we just stick to the good old caramel macchiatos and pumpkin spice lattes. That's the beauty of it all. Simplicity. Hold the mac and cheese at Panera Bread. You and me? We have a Panera gift card to win. No distractions. The consensus among Panera Bread employees on Reddit seems to be that the bakery's mac and cheese is a total ripoff. While a couple of commenters seem to simply feel that it just isn't worth the price, one person actually went as far as to describe it as downright nasty. While many of the restaurant's pastries are made fresh in-house, their pastas are frozen and pre-packaged. Kramer, say it isn't so. Oh, it'd be so. <laughs> Before being served, the frozen dishes are simply reheated. Not exactly the authentic, homemade cuisine you may have been imagining. It's really all about what kind of standards you have for your pasta. You might be a bit disappointed with these reheated dishes if you're used to your Nona's authentic cuisine. A Panera Bread worker actually posted a video on TikTok exposing the frozen mac and cheese. I'm exposing your scandalous lies. And by the way, I got them all on tape. The video features a worker placing a bag of Panera Bread's mac and cheese in a vat of boiling water. Unfortunately, the Panera Bread worker who revealed the frozen mac and cheese actually ended up being fired after the video went viral. When it comes to Panera Bread mac and cheese, it's really just one of those things where, if you like the taste, and don't mind paying the relatively high price, by all means, have at it. But keep in mind that even Panera Bread's employees don't think you're in any way getting your money's worth. Little Caesar's Breads. Are you gonna eat that bread? <laughs> oh, I, I just like the smell. A former manager of Little Caesars chimed in to say that the fast food joint's patrons should avoid ordering pretty much any of the breads on the menu. They mentioned crazy bread and Italian bread specifically. Apparently, these popular side dishes are buttered with, well, would you believe it's not butter? Instead of butter, an imitation product is used. How dare they? What seemed particularly distressing to this fast food worker was that it didn't require refrigeration to keep fresh. Some people don't notice much of a difference between the imitation product and butter, while others agree with this former Little Caesars employee and think it's disgusting. Some people are relatively unbothered by this revelation, which is fair, since a lot of fast food employees from other restaurants were reporting things like mold. So if imitation butter is as bad as it gets, Little Caesars is pretty okay. Oh, okay, well, it's not so bad. Movie theater popcorn. This one is not specific to a certain restaurant, but more so to certain establishments. Movie theaters. When we think of movie theater food, we all think of warm, buttery, salty popcorn. It's the perfect snack to munch on while you enjoy a flick. Can't watch a movie without popcorn. Now I gotta spend all my damn money on a bucket of popcorn. 
not cool with. However, a user on Reddit revealed the reality of movie theater popcorn. The user states to never order popcorn during that day's first movie showings. He states the popcorn sold during the first showing is actually the night before's popcorn, simply reheated in the warmers. Do you have any idea? How betrayed I feel right now. While this may be specific to the movie theater this user worked at, we could see this being a tactic used by other movie theaters. On the plus side, that means the popcorn for the other showings throughout the day and evening would be fresh, so it's not a total loss for those who love a tub of popcorn with their movies. Unfortunately, though, the user went on to paint an even more disturbing picture. You know those sticky aisles at movie theaters? He claims they attract all manner of bugs like ants and cockroaches and goes as far as calling movie theater floors bug buffets. I think I'm gonna be sick. This is obviously a pretty gross thought, and with how dark movie theaters tend to be, this could be true without us even knowing it. Hopefully, this user just worked at one dirty movie theater, and this isn't the case for most of them. Convenience Store Slushies It comes in 48 flavors! We have to try them all! We've all heard of the countless issues that face the dreaded ice machines at various fast food restaurants. However, a Reddit user who once worked at a gas station went on to say, and we quote, the amount of mold in those machines would crush your childhood to a pulp. Yikes. That paints a pretty bleak picture for any of us who've enjoyed these drinks on a hot day. Never again. We'd like to say this was an isolated issue and this Reddit user just worked at one dirty gas station, but this is just a reality of these machines wherever they are found. Well, that doesn't sound sinister at all. So whether it's a slush puppy at the corner store or a Slurpee at 7-Eleven, we suggest you proceed with caution when ordering these, no matter how hot it is and how refreshing they may seem. You might be drinking more than just fruit-flavored ice. Taco John's Beans. Beans, beans, magical fruit. More you eat, more you eat. Toot. Toot. This warning goes out to all of you in the Midwest. A Redditor who used to work at Taco John's implores you to stay away from the beans. Reportedly, they should be safe to eat during peak hours when lots of orders are coming in and fresh food is constantly being made. But outside of rush hour, it's not recommended that you order them. Turns out that the beans are just left to sit on a hot table. When they start to dry out, instead of being thrown out and replaced with a fresh batch, water is simply added to plump them back up. Yum. Wait a minute, that's cheating! So if you find yourself craving Taco John's beans, try to time yourself accordingly. Stop by right at lunchtime and you're good to go. For reference, some of the Taco John's food items including beans are their bean burrito and refried beans. Finally, if you're a big Taco John's fan, you should be happy to hear that this particular employee didn't have anything else bad to say about the establishment. In fact, they still eat there themselves. Yes, I made one mistake. Many, many times. Tim Hortons Iced Coffee. Calling all Canadians, and anyone lucky enough to live near one of the rare Timmies outside of its natural habitat. Many Canadians are incredibly passionate about Tim Hortons and won't hear a bad word about it. However, some employees would have us know that it's not necessarily as perfect as the Great White North makes it out to be. For one thing, the always fresh motto is a bit of a stretch since most of the pastries are shipped frozen to each location. But that's not such a big deal. It's not the worst thing I ever heard. What's harder to get over is the fact that, while many locations have very strict policies on cleanliness, some neglect their frozen base machines to the point where they can start to get moldy. The employee who reported this tidbit also added that the iced coffee, which is supposed to be kept no longer than 12 hours, would actually end up sitting out for far longer. What is in the cup? It's coffee. Ice coffee? Tell me it's ice coffee. To help put your mind at ease, many other employees chimed in saying this was not the case at any of their locations, but still, it's hard to know which restaurants you can trust. It's stuff like this that gives me trust issues. Wendy's Baked Potatoes. Why would you eat that potato? Are you 
Asking me why people eat potatoes? The thing about Wendy's baked potatoes is that they're not inherently bad. Actually, they can be quite good. The issue is that it's like you're playing Russian roulette each time you order one. You never know how long it's been sitting out for. The reason behind this is that baked potatoes are a pain to prepare. It takes anywhere from 30 minutes to an hour to bake them, and their shelf life is only about 60 minutes. Because they're so annoying to prepare and aren't the most popular item on the menu, it happens that a single batch is made around lunchtime and then used for the rest of the day. You're a sneaky, sneaky woman. So if you go at the right time, you could get a piping hot, delicious baked potato. But if you go at the wrong time, well, few foods are as disgusting as a dried out potato. One employee was kind enough to offer up a life hack to help better the odds that you'll end up with a fresh potato. Apparently, the less ingredients there are on the potato, the fresher it's likely to be. According to this employee, it's because when a potato is ordered with a lot of toppings, they are more likely to use an older potato that's been sitting around for a while, as all the toppings will mask the stale potato taste. That's a bummer for those of us who like our baked potatoes fully loaded. It's not fair. It's just not fair. KFC's barbecue sandwich. I tried to buy us some time with these delicious sandwiches, but they thought it was doing product integration for KFC. Prepare your stomachs for this one. Hopefully you're not a fan of KFC's barbecue sandwich because it's about to be ruined for you. After approximately four years of working at KFC, they claim that the chicken used in these sandwiches is the same chicken that was deemed too old and stale to donate to nearby homeless shelters. Instead, it was soaked in barbecue sauce for hours on end to get it to the point where it was soft enough to eat. Seriously, that's disgusting. Afterwards, they claimed the meat is kept in a heater for an ungodly amount of time, waiting for people to order the barbecue sandwich. This former KFC employee ended their tell-all comment with a confession, which read, I still order it, though. Turns out, even knowing a restaurant's dirty little secrets isn't always enough to stop the cravings. Sometimes the food just tastes way too good. Look, I'm sorry, all right? I'm weak. I have needs. The other thing to note about this sandwich is that it is not available at all KFC locations. It's an item that the owners of each individual franchise can choose to put on the menu and also take off the menu whenever they want. That's good news for those who wanted to steer clear of this one, but bad news for those who still wanted to try it, like the employee. Lemons from any restaurant. Too bright! Eat on it! If there's one thing fast food workers can agree on, it's that lemons are bad, regardless of where they come from. I find them repugnant and unappealing. This seems like a weird entry for this list, as lemons aren't exactly a staple fast food item, but when you think about it, it's surprising how often they pop up. Unfortunately, it's a rarity for a lemon to be washed in a fast food restaurant. As one commenter pointed out, this is a big deal, because the lemons go through a lot, with all the transport and storage it takes for them to finally end up in the restaurant's kitchen. For them to simply be sliced and dropped into your drink, it's pretty gross. On top of that, they're often left to sit around all day after being sliced, which isn't so great either. And since these things all go hand in hand, maybe it's time to stop ordering drinks from fast food establishments. But I'm so thirsty. Stick around and tap that screen for more of our great videos. Checking us out for the first time? Then show us some love and hit that subscribe button and ring that bell to join our notification squad.